Hello and welcome to Rotary Rocketry. Today we're going to take a look at the adhesives I use for rocket building. Now I know that glue may not seem like an interesting topic, but we're going to take a look at a couple of different products. We'll see how they differ and we'll do some strength testing as well. So let's take a look at some adhesives and see what sticks. Oh come on, that was funny. I'm keeping that in. So before talking about adhesives, it's important to understand what materials we're gluing together. My rockets are primarily made from cardboard tubing and MDF parts. MDF is a wood-based type board, so basically wood and paper products. If you're going to be gluing other types of parts like plastics, you'll need to do some testing to make sure that the adhesive you choose works well with those materials. Before we get into the adhesives that I use, I want to take a minute to talk about a couple of adhesives that I used to use quite often, but don't use very much anymore. The first one is wood glue. Now wood glue is good for paper and wood products, but it's primarily designed for situations where parts are pressed firmly together. There are some parts in my rockets where that is the case, but there's also some situations where parts fit loosely, so wood glue would not really be good for that. Wood glue is very runny, so it's not good at filling gaps. The more glue you apply, the more it just runs away and drips into areas where you don't want it. Another adhesive I used a lot in the past was two-part epoxy. Now this is a fast drying epoxy, sometimes called five minute epoxy. It's not completely hard in five minutes, but you typically get about five minutes of working time before it starts to set up. For a long time, this was my number one adhesive for rocket building. Basically, if a part needed gluing, this is what I used. It's a little bit thicker than wood glue, so it's slightly better at filling gaps, but it's still very runny, so it's not good at filling large gaps. And again, if you apply a lot, it will just run and drip away from the area where it's needed. Now, one good thing about epoxy and wood glue is the fast drying time. After gluing, you just have to leave the parts to sit for about 20 to 30 minutes, and you can continue working with it. Now that brings us to the adhesives that I use for my rocket builds construction adhesive. I have here three different types of construction adhesive. These are three very common ones here in the United States and you can find these in any big name hardware store. If you live somewhere else in the world you may have some of these available or you may have other brands available as well. Not all construction adhesives are the same and I'm going to show you some differences between these products and why I use the ones that I use. So first off, why construction adhesive? Well, the main reason is that it's a thick adhesive that stays exactly where you put it. But the trade-off for that is the slow dry time. You could probably continue working with a part after about six hours, but I prefer to give this around 12 hours of dry time. So when you're using this type of adhesive, you're not gonna be building a complete rocket in a day. Typically, I build the rocket in stages, so while I'm waiting for the adhesive of the fins to dry, I'll work on some other part like the parachute or the flight computer. So let's take a look at the differences between these three products. The first one is Liquid Nails. This product's been around for a very long time here in the United States. It's a very classic and very common construction adhesive. Now, just because it's probably one of the oldest name brand construction adhesive, doesn't mean that it's the best. In fact, there are stronger adhesives. And that brings us to the Loctite PL. This one says right on the label that it's three times stronger than ordinary adhesive. And to be honest, they're probably talking about liquid nails. I personally have seen situations where this is stronger than liquid nails. This is the adhesive I use for every part in my rocket. Fins, centering rings, bulkheads, coupling rings, everything that needs adhesive. I use this one because of its strength, but also for one very interesting property that it has. The Loctite PL actually expands a little bit as it dries. Many adhesives shrink when they dry, so that makes this one a bit unique, and I'll show you that in a little bit. I like the expansion because I think that that really helps to fill gaps, especially when gluing loose pieces. This last one is Power Grab. Now I don't use this one for gluing parts together. I use this for the fillets. Fillets are the fill installed between the fin and the rocket body to provide a nice smooth transition between the parts. I don't use the PL for fillets because the expansion of the adhesive results in a bumpy fillet. 
I've used liquid nails and power grab for the fillets and although both of them shrink a little bit when drying, I think the power grab shrinks a little bit less. So let me show you some examples of fillets and how these three products differ. I've made these small little parts and I'll install a fillet on each of them with each one of these construction adhesives. I'm spreading it with the tip of a popsicle stick so they'll all be the same thickness. And then I'll let them dry overnight. Here's the liquid nails. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it has shrunk quite a bit. Here's the Loctite PL. You see how it comes out bumpy because of how it expands when it dries. And here's the power grab. It's also shrunk a bit. It's probably difficult to see on camera, but I think it shrinks a bit less than the liquid nails, and that's why I like using this one for the fillets. Now I'm gonna do a strength test with all of these adhesives. I've glued on these five pieces using each of the adhesives that we've looked at today. There's a four inch distance between the glue point and this hole that we'll be using to pull down on the piece. I'll connect a chain with a small bucket to each one of these and fill the bucket with sand until the piece breaks off. Then I can measure the weight of the sand and compare the strength of each of the adhesives. First one up is wood glue. A bit surprising. Next up is two part epoxy. Next is liquid nails. Next up is the Loctite PL. Now I'm really interested in this one because this is the stuff I use, so let's see how it does. And the last one is power grab. never get used to that. All right, so that was interesting. Some of the results were what I expected and some not quite what I expected. Here's a list of the results from weakest to strongest. We see that wood glue was the weakest, followed by the three construction adhesives, and epoxy ended up holding the most weight. Now I did expect that wood glue would perform the worst in this particular test. It's just not a very good application for wood glue. But the real surprising one to me was two-part epoxy. It outperformed all the other adhesives by quite a lot. Now, two-part epoxy is a great adhesive for rocket building as long as you can keep it where it needs to be for about five or ten minutes until the glue starts to set up. Now, as far as the results for the three construction adhesives, they were all very similar. Liquid nails did perform the worst, as expected, and the Loctite PL performed the best, but only by a small margin. Now I think if we tested these adhesives in some other different gluing scenarios, I think we'd consistently find that the Loctite PL is stronger than the liquid nails, but in this particular test it was just marginally stronger. Now if you use some other adhesive other than the ones that we talked about today, I'd love to hear about it. Tell us about it down in the comments. Not only does that help us, but it also helps our future viewers with more information. If you're not subscribed to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.